delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, as promised, I said I was going to show you how to make fried bannock, and it's very easy. Really, you don't need any recipe at all. If you want to just make yourself a little snack food, I'm going to show you. Just make a little bit. You can make this without oil. You would have to make, obviously, your dough not runny. And then you're going to have to stretch it across your pan. And then you can fry it on both sides with just like a spray of oil. I'm going to show you. I have about that much oil in my pan. I'm not going to deep fry it. I'm just going to pan fry it. And how much bannock do I, do I want to make? I'm going to show you just a little bit just as a snack food. And then I'm gonna bring some to Erica. We're gonna put like about a half, maybe. Oh, let's make a little extra so my husband can have it, okay? We're gonna make about a cup of flour. You can make half a cup of flour if you want. We're gonna use, of course, some salt. Now you can even add sugar to this. It's really up to you. But we're gonna add about maybe a half a teaspoon of salt and I guess we're gonna put about maybe a half tablespoon of baking powder not soda I always say soda don't ask me why but I do okay we're gonna mix this now at this point you could add raisins to this you can add cinnamon to this. Uh, you can add whatever your little heart desires. But I'm going to make mine plain. I'm not even using the uh, sourdough. You can use sourdough if you want. Just to show you that bannock, when you make bannock, you really don't need the uh, sourdough. That's it. Salt, flour, and baking powder. Now, you're going to add. You can add milk if you want, but we're going the cheap way. We're just going to add a little bit of water until, let me just get a spoon, until we get like a runny, oh JJ, don't do that JJ, like you want it to run off your spoon, a little extra. extra water that should be good now like I said you could put raisins you could put cinnamon in here yeah my oil is hot yeah that's about it so you want it like a thick batter okay okay so you want to heat up the oil and then you want to lower it otherwise they're gonna get very dark now I was busy talking to you and my oil's gone a little crazy that oil on lowish temperature you don't want to have this burn so I'm gonna put this back on the burner and hopefully I'm not gonna smoke up the house I'm just gonna let it hopefully you can hear me uh, and then you're gonna just get some paper towels and you're gonna let them rest on top of there and you got yourself some delicious fried bread very easy to do Try not to burn myself. 
fried bannock. You could put anything in there. You could drizzle some maple. You could put some powdered sugar on top of there. And it's just a sweet little snack that you can have. Very, very easy. Now, I'm going to push this aside. Now, let's say we didn't have... We had more of a dough recipe. It's okay, pressure. My old cat is very old. All right, sweetie. Now, say you don't want to make it soft. You want to make it more like a dough recipe. want to be able to stretch this out so you need to have enough flour that means less water when you start off with I put a lot of water because I made it in more of a soft uh, more like a, a liquid dough but let's say let's move this over okay Persia I know baby okay Put a little bit of dough on there. A more flour. And you could just flatten it out. There we go. Put that oil back on the burner on low. You want this to be soft. So your hands don't get sticky. There we go. And we could put this right on, right in the pan. And you can make it as big or as little as you want. So there you go. And you could fry that up. Or you could put that in a tray like I told you. Put some tomato slices on top or some tomato sauce and you can make like a little pizza. But here you go. Let me see if I could get it in. Make sure there's flour. Put your dough on top. Oop. I'm going to use my hands. Flip it over. Then you can make it as pretty as you want if you want to make perfect circles. I don't care about shapes. Oh, my baby's here. <laughs> okay, so while I'm frying this up, then I'll show you what it looks like. So you have two versions. You could do it with the softer, like more liquid dough, or you could do it where you add less water, make it more like a dough, and then you fry it up anyhow. And you've got yourself a very easy fry bannock that you could enjoy, or your kids could enjoy. So I'm going to fry these up and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, baby. There's one there. Try up the other one. There's another one. Now these I prefer. Also when I go backpacking or camping, I make my dough right in the bag and then I stretch it out and throw it 
on either a rock if I don't have a pan or if I do have a pan like a cast iron I cook it on there and there we go we've got fried bannock and here's the last one how easy how fast and really was there any measurements not really so you can use this recipe in so many ways so i hope you give this a try and come back let me know what you think guys i'm gonna say i love you and i'll see you soon Dessert. Mmm. So good. You gotta give it a try. Mmm. Perfect. Mm -mm -mm. So good. It's delicious. Mmm. -mm -mm. mm -hmm. Takes two minutes to make. If you have people over, you make some drops in the oil, fry them up. This is the one that the batter is more liquid. And you have a dessert for someone that comes over. Or if you want to do the one where you add more flour, less water, like this one. You can use this. Also, you could put powdered sugar, some maple, like a beaver tail. Or you can make it that you eat it with some savory food. Very, very easy. Alright guys, I love you. And I'll see you soon.